seven. Hi, who's Mon? You're listening to the big one, Scotty McClue, live on Talk 107, the nation's favourite radio station. This is the phone in, the massive megaphone in to your telephones as quick as you can. 08454 107 107. If you've got something to talk about, I'm talking to Pete in Edinburgh. How are you doing, Pete? I'm fine, Scotty. How are you? I'm not bad at all, mate. I'm better for hearing you. Oh, I'm better for hearing you. I'm your voice for... is glistening the airways of Scotland. Are you oh. loving it? Are you absolutely oh. loving the show? Oh, lovely Scotty. Who's your back in the airways? Back in the airways. Ma- Ma- McClue's come home. Ah, he definitely has. He's my boy. He's my boy. <laughs> well, then, what do you want to talk about tonight, Pete? I want to talk about Madonna. Madonna? Madonna. Oh, I thought, I thought of... you said something else there. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, Madonna. <laughs> not Madonna, no. No, 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 I'm not talking about my kebab. No, I absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> I want to talk about Madonna, all right. <laughs> Madonna, oh, she's oh, a wee darling. She's oh. a wee honey, absolutely. Oh, she's, your, this... she's your style. Have you got all her films, eh? Oh, uh, all her films, all her DVDs, so, all so, her... So, so, some of them are a bit fresh, actually, aren't they? Well... That was in 1978, but she's moved on since then. They're a bit, they're, they're a bit fresh. <laughs> well, they're <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, knocking out the light bulb with a shoe, you know, that sort of stuff, you know. <laughs> I thought, what's going on here? The missus was going daft, you know. I said, just leave it for a bit, Mary. <laughs> I says, how come you never do that? <laughs> <laughs> she said, the big lass all over the place. I <laughs> uh, see you've no lost your tongue, Squid. I can stuff that. Oh, I've no lost my tongue, I'll tell you. It's a good job at all. <laughs> um, I'm listening to 107. Now that you're on their way, it's all by the way. Listen, I'll tell you this. I promise you, Pete, this is some massive, massive mega radio station. You just watch. You watch this lot blossom and bloom. I tried to follow your wee snail trail. Oh, <laughs> and then not... it disappeared, and now you're back in there. You've it, made yeah, my life I'm tonight. Ba- back with my snail trail. How did you hear? Because <laughs> uh, we're trying to keep it a secret, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I used to watch said, Don't go telling the audience what <laughs> McClue's back. <laughs> I'll <laughs> I'll I'll just start phoning again. I will tell everyone, I swear to God. Tell I them. used to work for Susan Morrison. Yes, yeah, wonderful. Uh, morning lady, brilliant. She's she funny is so, as... She is funny as, isn't no, she? She, isn't. she is so talented and she, she's an awfully nice lady. Oh, definitely. Yep. I used to work with in the company she used to work with. I'm not promoting them at no, all. No, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely not, but that's great. Gorgeous lady, and she works somewhere else as well. We're not going to mention Fantastic. Her. No, no, don't mention Lovely all. lady. Don't but mention I'm, all the places she works. <laughs> I just tuned in my um, radio. I saw a wee TV advert with you on it. Right, so a wee splash of that, yeah. That's McClure, me completely you thought, tuned in now. You thought that's McClue on the telly? Uh, McClue on the telly. He used to entertain me and have me in fits. You just, you, just got, you just got a flash. Of me. <laughs> that's the doctors to get my medication. You I'm just, having to get your medication back. I phoned <laughs> up the doctors. I said, stand by. My we're, going to back. Get some, we're going to get one or two nutcases on here, so you better get your medication right. You still got your bonnet? Of course, I've got my, of course I've got my bonnet. I'll tell you, you don't think I was going to come to Edinburgh without a hat? <laughs> I wasn't going to wear my old Bobby's helmet. <laughs> <laughs> oh no 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 no! I've been uh, I've been away down south. Oh no! Oh, I've been in huge. I've been in Yorkshire. I've been in the northwest of England. Been in Yorkshire twice. <laughs> been in Newcastle. You know, it's, it's all that kind of stuff. And then I came back up and they and they put me on in Glasgow. <laughs> you know, and then somebody came along and bought the station. <laughs> I think they'd be hoping to get my clue in the cheap. You know. Bought the station, treat the, the weed used to medication. You see, <laughs> you see, laugh, I bought the station. So that was that, so that's it, so the station was old. And I came here to Top 107 and it's the best thing I've ever done in my life. Oh, definitely, because I've been through to you twice before. Yeah, <laughs> you won't remember our problems anyway. Remember <laughs> your problems, it was your problems that started mine. <laughs> I couldn't even forget your problem. (laughs) (laughs) I'm still saving up to pay for them. (laughs) I started a charity for you. (laughs) 
Oh, you've still got a big man. You've still got it. <laughs> it's called, it's called Pear Souls. <laughs> And I've got a lot of money together. I'm not pierced up by anyone. You, I've got a lot. You tied me up. Pe 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 cells. Pay my soul up for you. It's better than seeing bells, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but I'll tell you, I've got all that together for you, and everybody's given generously. I mean, I was talking to the auditors, you know, who are very distinguished accountants, and I said to them, "How much is in pair cells account so that I can give something to Pete for you?" He says, uh, "Well, just do a week, uh, a week, uh, Ricky up there, Scotty." He says, "Right, that's it." And they came back. And you know how much I've got for you? How much? Nine pound thirty-six. I'll do. And that's, all, that's me. Post. That's me been out for a fortnight singing. He <laughs> said, "Who gave you the six? I says, "They all did." <laughs> <laughs> I took the missus with me, but she was chasing away the crowds. <laughs> <laughs> she says, why is nobody turning up? I says, they've seen the person you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so a cheeky oh, big man. <laughs> she rang the door the other night. Do you know they kidnapped my missus once, right? <laughs> <laughs> they were wanting half a million quid for her, right? They said no way. <laughs> that was at breakfast time, mate. We got a call at eight o'clock in the morning, you know. By lunch time, it was doon to a fiver. <laughs> <laughs> by tea time, the rang us up and told us where she was. <laughs> got to go and get her. <laughs> <laughs> she says, what took you so long? <laughs> <laughs> No one's spoken to me for 48 hours. There's all that stuff, you know. I mean, these are the things that happen, you know. It's a fairly dull existence, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say my missus is a big woman, you know what I mean? But she was born on the 20th, right? Uh -huh. And the 21st and the 22nd. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm hooked to 107. You're a big man's back. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been there? When the missus slipped one day, you know, she says, help me up. I says, which way up, have you? <laughs> 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 I thought she was growing a beard. <laughs> How are you doing, you alright? I'm fine. How are you? You're pissing yourself. I'm I've edited that out for you. <laughs> I'll, I'll send it to you later. <laughs> Along with the bill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here, I believe congratulations are in order. <laughs> Why? you got the stabilizers off your bike today. <laughs> <laughs> My big band's back. Woo! <laughs> 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 oh, oh, it's good to hear you. Even though we have me. <laughs> I tried that once, I went up like a balloon. It's all ready. It's all ready. You're half full already. That's why the missus are not wearing tights. 
<laughs> Every time she broke wind, her ankles were swelling up. <laughs> so you... <laughs> Are you on every night, Scotty? Uh, not after this. No, I think that's it. <laughs> but it's worth it just to hear you. <laughs> I sound like a helium balloon deflating. <laughs> I thought you were on helium when I first heard you. <laughs> Don't try that at home now, that's for entertainment purposes only. <laughs> I throw helium, that's in the liquid nitrogen. Oh, don't start that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's so good to hear your voice. Says, what does he do? I says he travels in dry ice. <laughs> I'm pitching you right now in your wee tartan bonnet. Yeah, oh, I'm sitting here looking at you. I'm looking at you. I'm <laughs> Your laugh so infectious that they'll believe they'll come to give you a prescription. <laughs> it's more like a subscription. <laughs> 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 Listen, I'll need to wait. <laughs> Were you going to talk about it? No. <laughs> I'm a donut baby. Oh, right. Oh, we have no time for that. I'll catch up later. <laughs> Take care, boys. See you, Lala. Love you. Bye. 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 <laughs>